kind of to you. Where did you get that? Wait, 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 don't tell me. I don't want to be an accessory. I checked this out of our school library. And when we check it back in, we're going to be $500 rich. I don't see the crime in this right off, but I know it's in there somewhere. You ever think about it? You see that show, Chicago's Wackiest Video? Well, they pay $500 for tapes of people doing stupid things. Oh, yeah, like that one with a bride fainted face first in her wedding cake? Yes. And her dad made a lot of money off of that. Now, see, I figure someone in this house is bound to do something stupid sooner or later. Well, give me the camera, because you're the most likely candidate. Stop that, man! Yeah, well, you want to break That's not even on the floor. We're going to have to break that out. See, because of you, we just missed a great wacky moment. Me? You wouldn't let go of the camera. Unlimited, and this is Dr. Dirk Clearfield, my director of development. How may we help you? One word, gentlemen. Refund. It seems my daughter bought this piece of junk from you people, and her wrist now has a Excuse me. Ugly... Excuse me. You're her, aren't you? You're her. Who? Who? Sally Field. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, did I tell you? Oh. Norma Ray, the flying nun, Gidget, all of Sybil, right here in my office, and meet without my autograph. No, 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 really, I, no, mm. I'm not Sally Field. No, 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 no. <clears throat> my name is Kathy Hale. Oh, Kathy, Kathy, that's a lovely name. Why don't you sit down, oh, Kathy, make well, yourself a <laughs> First, let me assure you that we will be purging our warehouses of this item. I knew this would happen, Sid. You're just too trusting. Well, color me crazy, Dirk, but I'd rather take a massive financial loss and err on the side of humanity. I know you would. Uh, the world already has enough cynics. Uh, boy, I know I've met my share. Oh, I <laughs> bet you have. And that is why I am prepared to write you a personal check. Don't stop me, Dirk. Oh. <laughs> Man is a saint. This is certainly wonderful of you gentlemen. Thank you. Really nothing. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're rather busy today. We have a million units to ship of that darn special new product. <laughs> There's just so much to be done. There's so much to be done, fellas. There's only so much. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Oh. <laughs> 
This is Nolan. Mr. Swenson called to oh. say thank you for his new yacht. Oh. And he's naming it the Salty Small Wind. Oh, oh. Swenson. Why does he do that? He knows that embarrasses me so. Well, we've done it again, Sid. We've brought happiness to another wonderful person. Yes, we oh, certainly yeah. have. <laughs> Goodbye. Get her. Got her. Get her. Product distributors are so successful, they earn sales prizes above and beyond their already fabulous monthly salary. Yeah, funny, funny story about uh -huh. Swenson. Kind of inspiring, really. Mm -hmm. He lost his job at the sausage factory, replaced by a robot. Oh. He was about as low as a meat processor can go, Kathy. And today, he owns a yacht, and I believe his first port of call is San Juan. San Juan. San Juan. <laughs> Caribbean. Caribbean. But that's what we do here, Kathy. We make dreams reality. Mm -hmm. You know, Dirk, I always say, the getting is in the giving. So true. Mm -hmm. By the way, now what is this darn special product? I don't know, Sid. I uh, think we ought to let the genie out of the bottle. Huh? It's never fair not to share. Yeah. <laughs> does have an honest face, too. Yes, it's yes. the kind of face you can really live with. Uh -oh. I mean, who wouldn't trust the flying nun? Fellas? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the story of Bell Speck Unlimited is the story of two remarkable Americans. was the top CEO of a Fortune 500 company until he became disillusioned. Oh, it was a cutthroat world out there, Kat. Where was the helping? Where was the giving? Where was the putting back? I've often wondered myself. <laughs> Dr. Dirk Clearfield was an astronaut in the Apollo space program. You know, Kat, if it wasn't for the doctor's phantom nosebleeds, he would have been the first Lutheran to orbit the moon. <laughs> One night, in my spare time, I was tinkering around in the NASA lab. Oh, he loves to tinker so. <laughs> well, I was looking for a cure for the common cold, actually, but I stumbled upon a complex compound of amazing importance for all mankind. Ooh. I call it Omni XL. <laughs> this is fascinating. Please tell me more. She wants to hear more, Dirk. Well, tell her. She's one of us now. <laughs> Man, we ain't never gonna get anything for Chicago's Wackiest Video. We taped an hour of Nikki doing her homework. Well, it was your dumb idea. What did you expect? A wacky loose leaf binder accident? <laughs> Wait a minute now. The old cranium has struck uranium once again. <laughs> we could save ourselves a lot of time if we fake something wacky and then take it. We can't fake something wacky. That's against the rules. Oh, all right. So I guess you think that dog they had just put those cowboy boots on himself, huh? <laughs> Make a good point. <laughs> what did you have in mind? And not that I'm going along with it. Just out of curiosity. All right. I see the bowling alley. Now, I see myself gluing your little fingertips inside the bowling ball. Then I see you sliding all the way down the lane and into the bowling pins. How that sound? <laughs> I'm seeing you thinking of something else. How that sound? <laughs> the miracle product of the 21st century, Omni XL. Half a cap full and it's a tooth whitener recommended by dentists in every major South American country. Four cap fulls cleans upholstery. 20 cap fulls puts a weatherproof shine on a Winnebago. We've got enough here to clean an aircraft carrier. Boy, don't I wish. Somebody else got the Navy contract. <laughs> Omni XL. <laughs> it tastes like dirty gym socks. Maybe so. But your teeth have never been wider. <gasps> <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Look at the sink. Coffee.
coffee stains are gone. <laughs> and a pink I bought in for a paltry $2,000. Kathy, that was supposed to be your nest bag until you got a job. Well, oh, I've got a job now, don't I, Dolores? And you know something else? I whizzed right past sales representative and rocketed straight into management. Oh, you're in management, all right. You managed to lose all your money and most of your mind. Did somebody mention delicates? <laughs> no. Why? I'm glad you asked. You know your beautiful cashmere ski sweater with the little ink stain on oh. it? Okay. Well, just look what Omni XL has done. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, what? Uh-oh. It's not quite done yet. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to wait for it to get done in here. <laughs> Watching her face, she gonna look like a little smirk. <laughs> Wait a minute, she already has one arm in a sling. Isn't that kind of cruel? <laughs> That's what makes it even funnier. See, cruelty is funny. <laughs> <laughs> like that, right? Man, but this is a moral dilemma. So what? Could you mention the money again? Five hundred dollars. That helps. That really helps. Good. Now Nikki should be here any minute. Get behind a shower curtain and fire up that camel. This is such a misuse of the media. Hey, 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 hey. Have you ever seen Geraldo? Once you give up integrity, the rest is easy. <laughs> you know, Sandy, I don't mean to get too personal, but I'm looking at your picture in our high school yearbook, and I'm noticing that your teeth were yellowing even back then. <laughs> Tell me something, do you still laugh with your mouth closed? <laughs> You'll take a gallon? Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Yes, I'll send it out to you tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah, see you at the reunion. With wider teeth, eh? <laughs> I'm telling you, my high school yearbook has turned into a veritable gold mine. Already today, I've made 300 Omni bucks. Omni bucks? Those anything like real bucks? Better than real bucks. You work half the time and earn twice the money. Hmm. And that would make you an Omni idiot. <laughs> twice the idiot for half the price. <laughs> I'm guessing this isn't a good time to ask you to come down to the Velspect office with me and listen to an Omni presentation. Oh, sure, I'll go. You got a couple of wild horses outside to drag me? <laughs> listen, Dolores, if I can get one person to listen to a presentation, I get 10,000 Omni bonus bucks, which is half of what I need for my trip to St. Croix. St. Croix? St. Croix, St. Croix, it's in the Caribbean. The Caribbean. <laughs> anyway, let me make this easy on you. No. Oh, you can say no. I just said no. No, I mean, you can say no to them. I'm saying no to everybody. <laughs> oh, please, Dolores, please. 10,000 Omni bonus bucks are at stake here. Kathy, why don't I just give you some Monopoly money and we can call it even? <laughs> Come on, Dolores. Do it for me. Do it for a friend, please. Oh, all right, I'll do it for you. Good. You know something? Think you're gonna like Sid and Dirk? They're special people. and the gateway to personal wealth. So, how much would you like me to put you down for? None, I'm not interested. I ain't fine. Oh, Kathy, yeah, yeah, I've heard enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Why don't we all calm down, take a deep, cleansing breath, and begin again. Come on. 
It's no use. The woman said no. She means no. She certainly means no. Thank you for listening. Oh, of course. Phyllis, any important messages for us? Mm -hmm. Uh, Phyllis? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On the XL Market Saturation chart, just came in. Ooh. Well, it seems your friend is a visionary, Kathy. Oh, she certainly is. Is she? Yes, she certainly is. I'm afraid your very clever friend has caught us with our productivity pants down. Around our ankles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> According to this, Omni XL has already saturated the North American market. What? Mm -hmm. Yes, it looks like Dolores was very wise in not investing at this time. Yeah. Our up-to-the-minute research shows that everyone who needs it has it. Wait just a darn minute here. I got a garage full of this stuff. What am I supposed to do? Well, I don't know, but... What, you know, we do have an exciting new product that I might... No, 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 Sid, it's too new, it's not ready. I'll have to let you get into this. It hasn't been properly tested yet. Oh, well, damn the testing, Dirk. The world needs it now. Did Dr. Salk hold back the polio vaccine? Did Dr. Shaw hold back the disposable corn pads? Once again, you've spoken to my better nature, Sid. Phyllis! of mankind, there has been the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, and now the fighter push revolution. God, I'm excited. <laughs> what is it? Fight a push health cartridges. Vitamins? No, heavens, no. No, no, health cartridges. The very latest breakthrough in genetic molecular reinvigoration. Just take a health cartridge, plug it in, and watch the pounds, the lines, and the years disappear. Plug it in where? Well... Oh, I dropped my pen under the safe. Oh, oh. Phyllis, you're always doing that, aren't you? I'll get it for you. you there you go. Please, get dirt. Oh, well, look at you. You're lifting a 500-pound safe as if it was a roll of pennies. Oh, no, no, no. I was merely helping Phyllis retrieve her... Well, I did, didn't I? You did? I've never seen anything like No, it's nothing. <laughs> you haven't been taking the cartridges, have you? Yes. Oh, you know how I frown upon self-experimentation. Sid, I'm a man of science. How can I expect anyone to ingest something I wouldn't gladly ingest myself? Well, that does explain why your hair has that luster. And yeah, it's so much more manageable now. <laughs> you know, a person could sell bushels of this stuff. Yeah, that's bushels. Yeah. You know, rarely and only rarely have I seen someone with so much insight. You know, you, Dolores, would make a great distributor for Vita Bush. I mean, look at her. Look how alive she is. Oh, she glows. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, oh. Are you sure you're not already taking the health cartridges? No. Of course I'm sure. I'm also sure I want in. Look, guys, I've got five thousand dollars in my boy's college fund. I've got an insurance policy and some jewels. Now, will six grand buy me in? Mm, ordinarily. Okay. Uh... What are you doing? The boy's college fund. I don't think you should do that. Kathy, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, grab it. Wait a minute. It's about me. I paid good money for a product that's already saturated the market. Oh, Kathy, I'm sure Sid and Dirk are honest people. They'll simply refund your money, right, guys? Or, uh, or, 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 uh, or, you know what we could do? <laughs> if you're so interested in the Vita Push program, we could take your existing Omni credit and just transfer it. That's that. beautiful, no. Sid. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Either I get the entire region or nothing. Well, thank you, my best friend. Ooh. This is putting us in a rather uncomfortable position. Mm -hmm. We hate to get between friends. Look, she's a little fish. I'm a big fish. I'm into it for six grand. She only gave you two. Oh, don't Oh, I am shocked at you. Oh, well, I am just so sorry, but honey, when money talks, friendship walks. Besides, you guys are going to give me back the cash, right, guys? Cash? Well, cash reimbursement would be... Unprecedented. Uh, well, yes, it's very unprecedented, Dr. Dirk, but we must remember six is bigger than two. Even an astronaut can count backwards. Well, there it is, then. <laughs> Great precedent. Great precedent. Well, congratulations. We're awarding the entire Chicago Metropolitan District to our first Vita Push distributor, Dolores Dixon. Yes. You're going to make a full cash refund to Kathy Hale. Well, I'm not taking it. You better take it, you I little egghead woman. I you won't accept it. I have the limit. Two thousand dollars.
And here you go. Well, thank you. And welcome to... Uh, it seems to be a mistake here. You've made the check out to Sleazy Snakes and signed it. You are busted. No, 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 that's not right. Uh, we have a stamp. Stamp? Yes, we do. Guys, let's just cut to the chase, okay? You both took advantage of a woman who is my friend, who is out of work, and happens to have a bad habit of trusting strangers, and they don't come much stranger than you two. Oh, uh, I think I'm getting a nosebleed. Come on, Cassidy, let's get out of here. Get your little butt up. You've got your money. Get out the door. Don't make me put you in this office now. Just go out and say good night, Good night, sis. You know, you know, Cassie, we've got a new district we can give you 1500 Sid, you got a handkerchief? Oh, go shove a health cartridge up your nose. <laughs> I cannot believe I trusted those jerks. Oh, come on, Kathy. Don't feel bad. I've been there. When I was between jobs, I fell into a bogus investment myself. You? No, I can't believe that. Oh, yeah. I once got suckered into investing $500 in a solar-powered clothes drying system. What was it? 20 clothes pants and 100 feet of rope. <laughs> Uh, uh, 